Valentine's episode four. Okay, so last episode, you know, the Mega Sweet Army hit the city. So we built, so um, off camera, I built these to defend against it. Um, something happened to the fire department. Buildings are burning down. That isn't. Oh. My fire coverage is try horrible. Please. Uh oh. Um, could I take this region? I'm gonna take this regional fire station. Like the New Zealand fire station. Why do I have no money? Actually, I didn't. I haven't built anything. Oh, because when I was building, when I was trying to record the actual episode, um, it broke. How is it not able to do this? Like, it seems like it takes. Okay, so we need a new way to get into the city because I don't think this is necessary, but I'll keep it for now. Anyway, we need more money. So when I get more money, we'll build the stuff for the fire department to use. The next thing, so what I'm going to do is first fix up this because it kind of, you know, it fix itself. So what I'm going to do is fix the bus lines because they're the exact same color. So this is going to be dark blue. Or black. And last but not least is um when I get the money, we'll build a fire station. The New Zealand fire station, because this is not the main city and it will have like meet I guess high density maybe, but not like super big density. So after the um tsunami, people were afraid to move near the over here, you know, where the ocean is, and they wanted to move inland. However, inland here is flooded, and inland here is full of water. And you know, experiences with water aren't that good. So some rich, so some kid who's been working at the industry, some guy who's been working at the industry, decides to build his own little neighborhood. To accommodate the people who are like, um, I don't think I will, could um, be safe here. Anarchy, anarchy, anarchy. This, this is a two, this is a two lane road that's really tiny. Even um, a highway connection that. Then these um on and off ramps. So if you think this is all teeny, stop whining. Okay, so this kid begins to build this is the construction of the main city, right? Begins to struck construction of the new city. This is two lanes. If you believe it, this is two lanes. I'll just um expand it. So I'll just get what? Is it only one lane? Oh no, I used the wrong one. Or is the one that for some reason has zoning? Which is kind of dumb, but um, okay. Even worse, it's kind of fat. But no, that's a two-way highway. I want a two-lane. It's something appropriate so that it's not so thin. Okay, now it should work. Right now, it's kind of looking like Skimpy Road. Now it's a one way road. And now we just do this. And now we just do this. And now we begin the construction. I mean, continue construction. Because apparently the game kind of broke. I mean, kind of fixed this. Wait, did I start the recording? Okay, I did. 
And I, we continue to build the city. And I, we continue to prepare to build the city. So, so this guy build, is about to begin to build the city. So he begins construction. He hires some people. And he, uh, he's been saving money. So he's able to build these big roads. He this big avenue. Up right to, up to the um, train lines. Because that's where... The companies claim the the train companies claim they claimed the railroads and the land like immediately beside them so that nobody could build them unless the government decided to do imminent domain. Um, why is Prop and Tree on at Yon? Um, I thought I turned it off. Uh, oh. Um, what? I'll fix the tree thing later. What? No. And I, he begins the plan for his little town. For his city. So he begins to complete. He begins to plan with a roughly um, a free structure. The idea is to be free. It's a small town, so of course they're gonna have the uh, motto "Be free." And be who you are. So he builds some streets, you know, public access. What do you think? I'm going to just let them not have roads and they're going to have to use build and live by nothing. No, I'm not that mean. So this guy, um, of course, is uneducated, meaning he's going to use the one that one thing that the government said it should be illegal, but failed to pass the parliament, failed to pass the um, the House of Commons. Those little, little sewage boxes. Basically, it dumps the sewage into the ground, which he didn't know about because he's a local, because he's the local uneducated worker. And he has no idea about them. It pumps sewage into the ground. All he knows that it's um free, and he won't need to build a draining station. All he has to do is build the pumping station, the draining station, build a straight line, and then begin. So he begins to build the town. Some financial issues here and there, but mostly it's fixed. So that by the time that he's some financial issues, yeah, but it, it's mostly done. But most of them are fixed by the time uh, they might become prominent. And last but not least, he's local, the local, local windmill. So he decides to, because um, building a industrial um coal plant is kind of dumb I'm putting it right beside so he builds a bunch of commercial commercial and then begins to paint the housing the commercial Ave then the residential yes there's been fires but he thinks this town is plus the disasters but he thinks this town is far away enough that the disasters won't cause them harm So, make an epic name for this because I need to, um, because, uh, make, post a name of, for the town in the comments. And he uses eminent, and, and he, and of course, because the railroads own this, um, they get the railway line. So, 
So he has this. Erison Heights, as it's called right now. So as we're building homes and stuff, I am going to build the fire department. This um, is temporary. Actually, I think I can make this demolish this so I can have a more to build one. Nope. And of course, a bus service. This is the collector bus. The collector bus. It's supposed to be the collector, so that the intercity bus can show up and pick them up. Why is there 40 vehicles? But there's only four. Five and five. Yep. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Episode's over.